YouTube, Shook and Shelby here. It is time for the monthly arcade block unboxing. Yay, arcade block and stuff. So, uh, this is December's block. Yes, it is January 1st. Happy New Year to everyone. Uh, but it, arcade block ships about the 25th of every month. I think this shipped about the 22nd or so, but thanks to the holidays, it did take quite a while to get to me. Uh, so I just got this, uh, today or yesterday, I don't know, I didn't get the mail yesterday, so. Anyway, it's here now. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Arcade Block is the same people that do Nerd Block, uh, run by the same company that does ShirtPunch.com. Uh, 1995 for a block with a shirt and a bunch of cool video game related items. Uh, Nerd Block is all about pop culture, which sometimes has video game items, but Arcade Block is strictly video games. So that's, uh, quite a bit more up my alley than uh, Arcade Block is, or Nerd Block is. This is Arcade Block. Anyhow, let's go ahead and uh, get this open, take a look. It ends up being about $30 uh, for the block, give or take, since it is shipping from Canada, so shipping is a little bit more. So, well, come on, stay open. All right. So there's uh, multiple different things they advertise for this block. They advertise Smash Bros. They advertised um, Halo and something else I don't remember. But anyway, let's start with the shirt. Oh wow! Well, that's neat. I wasn't expecting the Smash Bros. item to be the shirt. I guess I should have. It is. It's a Super Smash Bros. Brawl City. Designed after the uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City logo. I dig that. We're well beyond Brawl now, but I still really dig that. That's cool. Um, Alright, so I see the Halo item right up top. The Halo item is actually a lanyard. Uh, so it's got a cool cybernetic blue design. With the Forerunner uh, Reclaimer Glyph. Co-molded rubber charm and the ID window sleeve. So that's pretty cool. I didn't get far enough in Halo to know what the Reclaimer glyph is, but it's still cool. Mostly because it's Halo and I really miss Halo. I still really miss Halo. Um, anywho, uh, we got a Zelda Phantom Hourglass Gesh Pond Ball. Let's see who we got. Who did we get? Come on, Gash Pumball. Wow, how original. We, we got Link. We got Link. He come to town. Do I have this Link? I don't think I have this Link in particular. I do have a Phantom Hourglass Link, but I don't think it was um, of this variety. I don't remember. But here's all the ones you could get. So you can get the Knight Link line back 2 or whatever, Junior. I don't remember what line back was in that game. Uh, the Gorons or Tetra. So pretty cool. I am glad we got Link, regardless of if I needed Link or not. I do not remember. Because I don't ever remember what I have and what I don't have. So we include... A pretty awesome Link figure. Right there, pretty cool. I love the Wind Waker design of Link. It's probably my favorite. Uh, I just really like it. And you got a cool little Phantom Hourglass as well. And a little stand to put them on. For those of you that have seen my Pokemon Zukon reviews, it is very much similar to those. So we just shove the little stand oh it goes the other way around shove the little stand into Link's crotch area and then that will sit right into that hole and now we got Link on stand the Phantom Hourglass however does not actually sit anywhere uh, so you might want to glue that down if you do get any of these little figures so moving along to the next item we got a touch control joystick for touch screens. Works well 
with all touchscreen phones and tablets. Okay, I get it. It's basically a stylus, uh, except it's shaped like a old-fashioned Atari joystick. Uh, so uh, let's let's go ahead and open that. Why not? All right, so I got that out of the package. So it's it's a suction cup. Okay, it is more or less for those iPhone games that have a joystick on it. Uh, this will suction cup onto your screen. If you can see that, there's a suction cup right there. That can suction cup on your screen, and then you can just move it around like a joystick uh, instead of moving your finger around like a joystick. So that's that's kind of cool. Um, I would be okay with just a little uh, stylus and two. You can pop off the uh, suction cup, I suppose. But uh, that's cool. Cute little novelty item. Uh, we've got a Sonic. Oh boy, I'm gonna have fun with these. I am gonna have fun with these. Kiefer, eat your heart out. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog uh, fridge magnets. Create your own Sonic level scene. That is awesome. Um, I don't know if these are all the ones it comes with exactly. It probably is. But you got uh, the B enemies, uh, Rolling Tails, Rolling Sonic, Flying Tails, Flying Knuckles, Sonic Knuckles, Dead Sonic, uh, the Crab enemy, the Fish enemy, Robotnik, uh, six coins, a coin box, an extra life box, and one, two, three, four... Uh, level tiles and two platforms. So that is really, really cool. Oh, uh, two uh, sunflowers too. I forgot about those. Those are neat. Um, I got a mini fridge in my den here, and I will pop them on there. That is really cool. I really dig those. Um, and then I think this is it. This is a portal. What is this? It's big and fluffy. That's a scarf. Well, I'll be I'll be damned. So on one side we have the aperture logo or at least the aperture text logo in white and then on the other side we got it in black. Fancy myself an aperture scarf. Scarves are weird. I don't wear scarves all that much. I don't. Is this how you wear a scarf? I have no neck. Um, my neck is very tiny. My shoulders are here, and my head is here, and my neck goes here. Except there's not a lot of neck there. There just isn't a lot of neck. So scarves are weird on me. It feels like I'm being choked by a fluffy snake. But we'll go with that. We'll leave it on. So here is our... This is the Arcade Certified Product of the Month. It does make the logo, as you can see there, if you position it right and wear it like a monk or someone graduating you can make the logo. Anyway, stay warm from GLaDOS cold icy mechanical heart this holiday season with the Aperture branded scarf from Portal. Stylish and practical, which is exactly how we feel about you. No, really, we do. What? Why do you always question our sincerity? Didn't we warn you the cake is a lie? Huh, we had to, we had to do the joke. We had to do the joke. Hey, little lanyard. I uh, feel like part of Master Chief Squadron with this Halo Forerunner lanyard. Add your own ID and be the first to reclaim the glyph. That must be important. Uh, Sonic Fridge Magnets. No matter how you spin it, these magnets from Sonic the Hedgehog will make you flip. Create your very own side-scrolling masterpiece on any magnetic surface. Uh, Zelda figures. Pop open the egg to reveal the treasure inside. Receive one of six Zelda mini buildable figures. Display them for the entire kingdom to see. Here's here's where we get tricky. Um, the 
the ones that they show on the card are the ones that I know I have some of. Uh, that is, it has a Link and Zelda from all the different generations. So it's got uh, Wind Waker Link, uh, Tetra, Ocarina of Time, Young Link with uh, Young Zelda from Ocarina of Time. And then Skyward Sword Link with Skyward Sword Zelda. Um, those are the six. So what they gave in, in my box anyway, I don't know if this is a fact for anyone else, uh, was just strictly the Phantom Hourglass series. Um, which is, I believe, the same Link. Maybe from this series that's with the uh, the other ones I have. That's why it looked familiar. Um, maybe it's bigger. I don't know. But anyway. Uh, so I don't know what the deal with those are exactly. But um, anyway. I got uh, Wind Waker Link. Well. Uh, Fan Margolas Link. But it's the same Link. So, And finally. Touch Control. Our old school meets new school. Play all of your favorite smartphone mobile games. With this arcade style keychain joystick, works with all touchscreen phones and tablets. And then, of course, the Super Smash Bros. Brawl City shirt. Um, I love, love this arcade block. Arcade block's been really freaking good. Um, and I, I think it might be a mix of the fact that I, if I don't play a lot of video games, I at least know of a lot of video games. Um, be it playing them, watching them, reading about them, I know a lot about, um, video games. So, it's, it's kind of a thing where Nerdblock might give me some things in it that I just don't really care about, like a Star Trek item, or, um, next month's Nerdblock has, uh, it has a Star Wars item, which I, of course, wouldn't mind, I like Star Wars, but it has, a uh, Planet of the Apes, which I don't really care about, um, it has... Star Trek, which I don't really care about. It's supposed to have Doctor Who in it in some fashion, which I really do want. But um, I did cancel my Nerd Block for next month, so you will not see a Nerd Block unboxing for me. Uh, I'm sticking with Arcade Block. Um, like I said, I don't know if it's just because I pay more attention to video games. But it, it's like even with, I don't play Halo, but I did at one point in my life. So I still really like the Halo lanyard. It's cool. I don't really know what it is exactly. But it's cool, because I appreciate the Halo item. So it, it, it's kind of like that. So I'm really sticking with Arcade Block. Um, I really dig this. Um, this scarf is actually really warm. Uh, and it's making me happy, because my house is cold. Um, the Fridge Magnets, uh, old school. Genesis Sonic, uh, really, really cool. Uh, the, the Lanyard, like I said, I, don't, I haven't gotten fur, far enough in the Halo series to know what the Forerunner glyph is or how it plays an important part or anything like that. But it's still a really cool item. Uh, what else do we got? The Zelda, I love these little mini figures, these little Gashapon figures. I really dig these. So I always appreciate Gashapon figures. Um, this is very much a novelty item. Uh, I don't know if I would use it. I don't play too many joystick uh, enabled games, but... Uh, it's still really cool, and it's even kind of a cool thing to just have on your keyring, uh, just to show your old school gaming pride. And uh, the shirt, I it's Smash Bros. related. I just instantaneously love it anyway. Uh, so really cool. Um, and like I said, the scarf is really warm, and it's making me happy. Uh, so great, great arcade block. Uh, yep, like I said, I'm sticking with Loot Crate for now. Um, loot Crate might go. Uh, one up box is here to stay. Um, I'm with a sponsorship with them, so as long as they keep sending it to me, I will gladly keep unboxing because one up box is actually doing a dang good job for just starting out. And like I said, I'll stick with arcade block. So if anything goes, Loot Crate's going to be the next to go, but uh, as of right now, I'm sticking with Loot Crate just because they run a pretty good service over there. But we shall see. But arcade block is here to stay, and I absolutely love this block so they really hit it out of the park there so um yeah uh, happy new year to everyone here's to a great and warm 2015 uh thanks for watching take care and have a great one bye